The main difference between an air sprayer and an airless sprayer is right there in the names. An air sprayer creates a spray by mixing finishing materials with a stream of compressed air, while an airless sprayer does the job not with air but with a pump. As far as the painter is concerned, the main difference is the quality of the spray and the final finish, but there are other things as well. Including types of materials you can spray and the type of equipment you may need. Because it needs pressurized air, an air sprayer has traditionally been used in conjunction with a compressor, a fairly bulky piece of auxiliary equipment that has to stay connected to the gun by hoses that get in the right away. If manufacturers can fit a compressor powerful enough to pump up a car tire into a housing the size of the jewelry box, you might wonder if they could do the same for air sprayers. Well, they have, so that eliminates one of the main disadvantages of air sprayers, but they still aren't the best choice for every job. The first paint sprayer invented by Joseph Binks in 1887 was something of an amalgam between air and airless paint sprayer because it worked by pressurizing a paint container manually to force materials through the tip of a spray gun. This pressure pot system is still around although pressure is usually supplied by a compressor. Not by hand, more common are two other systems that mix air and finish materials directly at the nozzle to produce an atomized spray. Gravity fed, the cup attaches above the nozzle and siphon, which is the cup is below the nozzle. In all of these systems, the mixture of air and material produces a very fine spray. The Grey company, now known as Greco, invented the first airless paint sprayer in 1958. The general idea which is one employed today by other manufacturers as well as Greco is to use a hydraulic pump to turn finishing materials into a spray by forcing it through a small aperture. It takes much more pleasure to atomize paint in this way and spray pattern tends to be greener but an airless sprayer delivers a much higher volume of material per unit time than an air sprayer. So spray quality matters, right? In a nutshell, an air sprayer is best for decorative finishes while an airless sprayer is best suited for productive finishes. You would apply a decorative finish to cabinets, interior furnishings, automobiles and some outdoor furnishings as well, while fences and other large surfaces on the other hand call for a high volume of material to form a productive coating. And the quality of the final finish isn't as important. One of the advantages of a sprayer is that they can spray high viscosity material without the need for thinning. You almost always have to thin material before spraying it with an air gun. Because the spray from an air sprayer is delicate, it leaves a thin coating on the surface that usually has to build up by repeated applications that provides the opportunity to buff between coats to produce the high quality finishes possible. The high volume of material an early sprayer delivers is more difficult to control, but it allows you to cover a large surface in fraction of the time it would take to do it with an air sprayer. Should you choose an air sprayer or airless sprayer? Let me tell you my final conclusion on to choosing between air sprayer or airless sprayer. In the not too distant past, both air and airless sprayer guns had to be connected to remote equipment by hoses. In the case of an air sprayer, it was a compressor and for an airless sprayer, it was a large pump that sucked paint directly out of a bucket. These days, both air sprayers and airless sprayers are available as corded and cordless handheld tools that are 
equally easy to use. So the choice between one or other isn't as clear cut as it used to be. One way to decide is by the viscosity of the product you are spraying. Airless sprayers can hand, handle pain and varnish that hasn't been painted, while air sprayers generally can't. Another factor is the quality of finish you are after. Air sprayers do a better job on cabinets, furniture, and a third consideration is the size of the job. Airless sprayer pump more material and will do wall spaces, ducts, and other large surfaces much faster than air sprayers while wasting less material as overspray. That's all for my today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. The Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.